happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. But I want to ask you in detail about Accutane and Isotretinoin. Got it. Because globally speaking, hmm. this is one of the most popular YouTube search terms related really? to acne. Yes. Wow. Since years. And I don't see that term dropping down in terms of popularity. Like how it's skincare, as with any other subject, there are trends. But when it comes to Isotretinoin, Accutane, people are still as on to it as they were in 2015. Wow. Um, I don't have a single friend at least in media who's not had it at some point yes everyone's had it uh i have friends who take it in perpetuity 5 mg every day mm. uh, can can wow really yeah. <laughs> uh ma'am yeah. maybe a great place to begin this would be wtf is isotretinoin like no. what is it what is the molecule <laughs> like why and i've also taken it it literally, and this is in my phase where I was eating a lot of shit as well and had bad habits. It just wiped out my acne. Correct. So how did it work? So effective. <laughs> I was I was shocked at how effective it was. Was it just that effective for me? Or is it actually effective for everyone? Everyone. If you have an oil gland, it'll work. Okay. And if you have to have acne, you have to have an oil gland. Correct. So it'll work. Now, isotroin, tretinoin... Acute rate, whatever you call, are either trade names or cousins of the same thing. It is, again, vitamin A precursor. Like the retinol you applied on the skin. This is edible fellow. Okay. How does this work? It dries out all your glands, including your tear glands. It can even cause dry vagina, dry eye, dry skin, dry lip, dry everything. So basically, this fellow will dry everything out. And I think the one precaution is if you're trying to conceive, you don't have it. Correct, because any form of retinol is teratogenic, which means it can cause harm to your baby. In men also? No, no, not in men. There are recent studies which have shown it is not in men. Um, so that is, it blanket dries everything out. So most of you who've been taking isotroin or tretinoin have realized that you have lip smacking. Lips go dry. That's the first thing that happens, right? That's all is what it is doing. It is drying everything. Why I don't give too much of retinol, I do very rarely to my patients, is one, I don't want to dry everything out. Firstly, you're trying to lubricate everything. Why are you drying it all out? You're trying the hyaluronic acid, you're trying this, that and the other. You don't need to dry everything out. I do use it in, an, in a bad acne with hereditary acne where I have found no other cause to treat. It is simply family. Your food is squeaky clean. Hormones are perfect. Everything is perfect and you have big painful cystic acne, then I do use isotroin for a certain time. I have used it. I do use it. But what I do is once I get a hand of it and control of it, I don't see sense in drying you from even your hair falls, hair becomes brittle, dry, all of that. I don't see you drying from here to here to dry this much. Right? So what we do is once I get it under control, I start doing a procedure called micro needling radio frequency. Where we end up using tiny little needles, get into your skin, release radio frequency at different depths, like a 2.2 or a 2, where I know the oil glands are situated. So I'm shrinking the oil gland permanently. Ooh. Along with it, as a side effect, I'm also treating your scars because I'm increasing collagen with the same procedure. So why am I drying, drying you out entirely when I can just dry this and dry it permanently for you? So microneedling radio frequency, therefore, has become one of the most popular treatment in most doctor's clinic. But you need to do it in a right way to make sure your, your no-cause acne can be simply treated. Damn. If there's a cause, obviously, you're first treating the cause, like I said, getting to a remission, getting to that, and then making sure it never comes back. So why am I giving you isotroin? Because that can be hepatotoxic, which means it can be toxic to your liver. It can derange your lipid profile. It could be teratogenic in a woman. It could be so many things. And I said, it could dry you, hair fall it can cause, dry skin it can cause, it can increase if you have eczema and cuts and dry skin. Lip smacking will cause lip pigmentation thereafter. So there are 10 things that can cause, can cause ophthalm complications. So you don't want to give it. But those are all quite rare. If you're kind of, you know, not, not that everybody gets it. So please don't get scared if you're taking it. Your doctor would have thought of all this, looked at all this and then given it to you. Having said that, I would say, this is how it is. So, if you have an oil gland, isotroin will work on you. Okay. I have to ask you a podcasting question. Huh? It's a rude question, so don't mind. So, how expensive is that treatment that you spoke about? Microneedling radio frequency. One, depends on the clinic you will go to, which city you are going in. 
depends on the doctor obviously doctors charge for the expertise uh three there is a consumable in it so depending on which machine you're using you will have a very small indian made machine to a korean machine to a chinese machine to a us fda approved machine it depends on that it could be i think anywhere i don't know at my clinic it's i i don't know the cost the rates to be honest in my clinic somewhere if i benchmark it between 20 25 grand per sitting and how many let's say start off with four so minimum roughly 1 lakh for a safe a lakh is what you're looking at it yeah yeah and i think when it comes to medical expenses people should not i am not... i am very vaguely giving you this uh, yeah. benchmark figure because i'm also not 100% sure yeah but people should not try saving money when it comes to medical no, expenses no come on that that's something i'm glad you brought it up three things i want to tell specially for all the modern listeners here because dermatologist is so diluted and everybody claims to be a skin care expert today from a um, you know school dropout who can say i'm skin care expert on the social media to clinics which have opened up by either businessmen or someone 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 it's it's just diluted so one please don't go for deals i get really worried and angry when i see diwali sale in dermatology clinics i mean what are you doing so you can't be doing that so there is no deals there is no discounts there is no sale there is no anniversary sale you need to please go for this is not fashion this is really medicine this is if you give that respect to that it will treat you that respectfully back is what i feel respectfully back so you need to know this is not where you bargain this is not where where you look for cheap things yeah it's getting into your body it is going in there like there are people who come and say oh but in that clinic micro needling radio frequency was only this much for four settings how do you know which machine how do you know that disposable that i'm attaching to it they are not I, i know many clinics reuse it you can't reuse it because there's a plastic component there is a metal component how would you sterilize it even if i put it in an autoclave the damn needle then gets blunt mm. you can't end up putting in then you 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 induce holes on the face for some people they come back and say we did micro needling that left holes in our skin that's because the needle might have not been sharp the depth might have not been right so there are so many things that you need to look so don't don't take it at face value don't take it at just acha kitna then i'm going to do it okay no um one question about isotretinoin again we spoke about that permanent usage of it it's mm-hmm. becoming very common in cities yeah, yeah. like maybe I'm, i'm we're in versova sure. right now that's why i'm saying <laughs> that perhaps yeah. but i hear this a lot yeah, lot yeah, of people yeah. use it permanently they use 5mg yeah. every day there are some studies which say just a 5mg isotretinoin can be like an anti aging pill it's a retinol at the end of the day it kind of helps the skin remodulate but that's a very nascent study i can't remember the exact study so i don't want everybody to take home this but my only point is like a 5 mg to keep it going may not harm you but make sure your doctor knows it so she is going to make sure your lipid profile is checked yeah. there is no toxicity out of it yeah but I, it's not an oh my god don't take it stop it right now no i wouldn't say that yeah um you know they say that one of the best things about earning money in life is that you get to create your own wardrobe and your own life yeah uh so but true. i also think one more factor to be added in this that you get access to some of the best healthcare treatments with the money you've made yeah. which is why i strongly believe in getting your blood and your your blood reports done your yeah. full body checkup done yeah. once every year at least get it in the like i keep saying skin is a reflection of your internal health so if something is going wrong with the skin a doctor has to give you time to completely look at what's happening mm. and healthy skin is going to remain in fashion forever yeah so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more